This room is going to be no longer. So I'm going to move everything back into the room. Move everything. What is going on, you minifigure loving mother? This video is going to be a lot different than your normal video. So as you can see, the Lego room looks entirely different. I am already pulling everything off the wall. And that's because we are finally moving into the 3.0 version of the Lego room. Alrighty everybody, so that whole clip, the last 40 seconds that you've seen was filmed close to a month ago. I want to say it's almost been a month. I was planning on doing a whole new editing style and everything like that, but honestly, I wasn't feeling it. I was. I. I don't want to contribute to the TikTok brain hyper edits that needing to cut every five seconds. I just want to be want this to be a minimal effort, just long. Like you're hanging out here with me in the Lego room doing Lego stuff. That's that's the goal. I don't want to just try to contribute to the crappy youth TikTok brain, like I just said, of having to have hyper cuts every five six seconds like that. Not me. Not my editing style. Not what I want to do. So I apologize for the last 40 seconds, and as you can see behind me, the Lego room is pretty much in here. It's not complete by any means, but it is in the room now. I've got some lights on the shelves, got lights up there. We have a lot more work to do. As you can see behind me, the Batcave is no longer with us. We're doing, we're finally starting Batcave Phase 2, or whatever you want to call it. I am really genuinely excited. I think it's going to be huge, it's going to be massive, it's going to be awesome. And it is going to take a long time and a lot of parts to get done. So make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future content of the Lego Batcave. Because I guarantee you it's going to be freaking cool. Uh, it's going to be freaking awesome. It's going to be freaking awesome. It's going to be freaking cool. You're going to love it. I'm going to love it. Let's just get into it. So like I said, you can see the Batcave is completely gone. But I have started what is going to be the new Batcave. I've kind of got an idea. We're going to talk about this later on in the video. Uh, not right now, but here soon, at the end of the video, I'll kind of tell you the whole layout so that way you guys can comment your ideas, because it's going to be massive. I promise it's going to be huge. You're not going to want to miss out. Also, I got a new phone gimbal thing. I'm not quite sure how to use it yet, but we're going to check out these shelving units. I am extremely, extremely happy with uh, how all of the shelving has turned out. Uh, man, I am not learning. I do not know how to use this gimbal. You guys are gonna have to let me know if the footage looks less shaky and then I'm gonna continue to use it. If not, then I, I will figure it out because it is a learning curve. So we're gonna come over here. And we're gonna check out. We've got the new Boba Shrine right here looking, looking pretty good. I'm happy with it. And then we've got the Batman stuff right here. We've got some, I need to fig figure out what this is. And then we've got some office supplies. Well, that's always a good thing, right? And then we've got, of course, this is one of my favorite sections right here, the Hall of Armor. I think it looks super cool, especially with that backlighting. This is my favorite section. Got my custom minifigures right here. Here soon, I do want to make a video on all of my custom Lego minifigures because there is quite a few and I think they look super cool. Some of them are here are official. Got some more military minifigures here and all of the classic Lego Batman. Gotta love all of these guys. And then we've got the Razor Crest and some Avatar stuff down here. My girlfriend's minifigures. We've got the city up there. It's not quite as big as it used to be. We still need to put a lot more figures up there. The classic 2006 Arkham Asylum. The Boba Fett's uh, throne room, uh, AKA, can't remember the name, haha. <laughs> Jabba's Palace place. Then we've got more Boba Fett's, uh, we've got the Slave One. The original Slave 1, all that kind of stuff, and then Boba Fett Starship right there, and another Arkham, some great military sets right here. Can never get enough of these, right? I mean, I don't have very many, but I mean, and this is custom, that's custom, that's not custom, and that's custom. So these three things and that little helicopter are custom, the trailer, the tank, and this are not. The tank is a Battle Brick Customs, and this is Brick Mania. And then under here, we got Killdozer. Gotta love that. Got the Batmobile. We've got this, which I've actually been doing a decent amount of work on. Uh, so this will have a whole video soon once we get the top floor done. We got some Indiana Jones stuff up here. Gotta love that. Gotta love it. 
got the hot toys boxes and all of that fun stuff up here got some more minifigures and all of that type of stuff that i do need to eventually figure out what we're doing with we've got quite a few sets uh just on the shelf which these are actually going to be kind of the display and then we got minifigures and parts all of that type of stuff that we got to figure out what to do with and then we got the military base mock right here uh well not not really military base mock anymore it's more kind of just a battle zone that's kind of what the goal is the call of duty battle zone and we need to figure out what to do with these guys i'm not sure what the plan is for them Maybe just make a cool little hallway scene and figure out something to go over there. I definitely want to put a lot more of the sets and everything like that up on the wall. And then I'm thinking a lot of the boxes, the box faces, can kind of go up here in this corner. Like we had in the old Lego room, which I'll cut to a clip of. Well, you saw it in the beginning of this video, but also cut to a clip of it. So yeah, we definitely, I want the walls to have a lot more, a lot more. I don't know what you guys think. Let me know in the comments for sure what you guys are thinking as far as like what sets we should put up on the wall, what we should put up on the wall, if it should only be Lego or if we should do some random other cool things like that. And so like I said, we still have a lot more Lego on the pool table. Now pretty much all of this is all Batcave stuff, which we are going to be working on or uh, talking about here soon. A lot of this is all Batcave stuff, parts from the Batcave, all of this. That took forever to pull the water apart. But we do have some sets up here. Uh, most of them are DC. So I'm sure a lot of these are actually going to be going into the Batcave. Because it's going to be a much larger. I'm hoping to fit a lot more sets and stuff like that into it. This we need to figure out what to do with. Maybe part it. I'm not sure. We've got some cool minifigures on there too that we also need to figure out what to do with. And so, like I was saying, we've got a lot of just all kinds of stuff from the Batcave over here, because this is going to be kind of the catch-all table. This is like the catch-all bucket, all the minifigures and kind of accessories and fun stuff that was in the cave went into that bucket. All the other parts and things like that have gone into there, plate over there. And then, like I was showing earlier, all of the brick I pulled apart and tried to separate by color. A lot of these are slopes, and there is some brick, most of the bricks in there. And as you can see, there really was not a whole lot of uh, parts in the Batcave because this is a lot. I mean, this is the majority of all the parts and you kind of see it's not going to get me very far. But the idea is going to be it's super hard to visualize to visualize. But I promise it's going to be epic. This whole section is going to come up. Oh, this is going to be hard to see. So the video is going to do no justice on my explanation. You're just going to have to subscribe and follow along as I build it. But the cave right here is probably going to come up to about, <clears throat> excuse me, the cave is probably going to come up to about right here. And this whole section will be able to come off of the top. So you'll be able to see into here, which will have an arch. There'll be an archway here. So you can pull the bat boat in and out like that. And then I'm going to have lights and everything in here. This is going to be all cave section coming up from here. It'll be all cave. And the whole thing is going to be in a cave made out of burps. This was literally every burp I had. There's burps here, burp there. All of these are burps, lots of burps. And I am going to detail it all, don't worry. It's gonna be all covered by brick, um, but that's gonna be the last of the worry. Basically, like I was saying, the whole thing is going to be in a cave. So this whole section on the cave will be able to come up so you can see down into the cave and then up here it'll kind of slope up and it'll probably end up being i would say three three and a half feet off of the table that it is on so as you can see here it is two of the large base plates wide and then four of the long or the large base plates plus another of the smaller base plates in the length so it is going to be extremely huge it's going to be freaking massive i I don't know if it's going to be the largest Lego Batcave on YouTube as far as like parts wise, but I want it to be one of the best. Like when you think of a Lego Batcave, this is going to be what you think of. Uh, like I was saying, it's going to be a lot of work to get there, but I'm really happy with how the Lego room is turning out. It has been a long time since having a Lego room. Like I said, this video has taken literally a month, two months, not necessarily this video, but just moving the Lego room has taken me over two months to do probably. 
So with all of that being said, I felt like I just needed to get some kind of content out, let you guys know what was going on. I haven't even said I was officially moving the Lego room yet. So it's, it's big news. I'm excited, I'm happy. We're gonna start, the content is gonna be, I'm gonna try to make it more normal because it is right now, right next to my room. So I have no reason to not come out here and make fun content. Uh, I've been trying to make more content on Instagram lately. YouTube, I've been slacking, but I promise, I promise I'm gonna try, I'm gonna make more, I promise. I got you guys. Um, and uh, even if you don't care watching, then I still, I'm still gonna try to make content because it is fun, genuinely fun to make videos. I enjoy it and I've always wanted to. So I appreciate all of you guys that have supported me for this long and I will see y'all in the next video. Peace out. Also everybody, Punky says hi and he's doing awesome. Although he looks like he's got in trouble because he was just licking his